Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. We've extended the summer series questions from our viewers until the end of August. Don't be disappointed if you don't hear your question. We're still getting around to them. Periodically, between now and the end of the year, hopefully we'll have your question up. And thank you guys so much for your participation. Today's tip comes from two viewers from two different management companies that were having the same problem. The problem is elderly properties. 202 requirements versus non-202 elderly Section 8 properties. The confusion comes in because they're both types of elderly properties, but the regulations are not the same. One was designated elderly from the beginning, and the other was designated elderly through a preference. The situation was a gentleman calling in and making a complaint about his application being denied. He felt that it was denied due to his type of disability and his age. In the manager's reply to us, it was stated that the gentleman was denied because he does not meet the age requirement and does not need an accessible unit. The Section 202 elderly properties are limited to elderly, 62, age, 62 years of age and older, and mobility accessible units. But Section 8 properties do not fall under that same restriction. A Section 8 elderly may admit both elderly over the age of 62 and disabled persons for any type of unit. In Chapter 3 of the 4350 Handbook, Paragraph 3-17, you will find the definition of elderly and disability requirements for your residents according to the program type. Section 8 construction designed for elderly uses the definition A for the elderly family and definition D and E for the definition of disability. Whereas Section 202 program uses the definition B for the elderly and definition G, H, and I for the disability definition. Sarah and Joe, I hope this helps. It pays to know your program type. Well, thanks again for tuning in this Tuesday, and we look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Have a great week.